Why hybrid? We are in the middle of a revolution in our working world. From an evolutionary point of view, this is an exciting development. If we look back, work began with the agricultural era. People were guided by the rising sun and the weather. So nature dictated when what had to be done and could be done. With the age of the industrialization, factories and assembly lines came into fashion. Shift models were introduced and the machines set the pace for when work was done. With the labor movement, social milestones were established, such as eight-hour days or regulated rest periods and so on. Today, it is the computer and the smartphone that dictate when we work and when we are available. Until now, we went to our office in the morning, we sat in front of our computers until lunch break, maybe a coffee break in the morning and one in the afternoon, before we went home in the evening. Mostly a fixed routine with little flexibility. And that's exactly what hybrid working is trying to disrupt. By choosing where I work, I can now balance work and personal time much better. But not only that, hybrid working has also given our access to technology a huge boost. We have inevitably had to learn about new technology because of COVID, and suddenly things are possible that we thought were absolutely impossible just a few years ago. For example, taking part in an online workshop from home with the whole team. From a technical point of view, a lot has developed in the last few years. Some new technologies, such as VR Googles, will digitize our collaboration even further in the future. With the help of such Googles, you could, for example, meet in a virtual room in 3D instead of just looking at laptops in two dimensions. But other technological achievements, such as artificial intelligence or augmented reality, are also revolutionizing the way we collaborate remotely. So as you can see, there are a lot of things happening in technology that will have an impact on the way we work. A second factor are our employees. Wherever it is possible, we can no longer avoid a hybrid setup. This is mainly due to the fact that our employees now demand it and are even prepared to quit if we provide them with an environment that is too inflexible. So to be an attractive employer today, you have to think carefully about what you really need your employees to do in the office, where flexibility makes sense and what you can offer them. A positive example is the employer of a friend who lives in Miami. She works for an international corporation that offers its employees unlimited vacation, the ability to work outside the US for 90 days, and there is even an additional budget for personal home office setup, such as a personal desk or office chair. Given the hybrid context, it is therefore important as a manager to always keep both levels in mind. The technological and the human. Let's now take a closer look at the human factor.